All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tayemba, and welcome to our Africa Tours and Investment Conference call. All right, and uh, this is uh, Sunday, August 23rd, and uh, we're here to talk about Tanzania, Senegal, the Gambia, South Africa, and Ghana. And those are the five countries that are on our website for tours, on our website, Africa for the Africans.org. Right, as we uh, proceed through this uh, conference call, I'll be just going through everything as best as possible and opening up things for more questions and answer. So hopefully everybody can have their questions and everything ready and that way we just proceed with a nice uh, presentation of details. All right, so the main thing I'm looking to uh, go from uh, beyond the website is the newsletter. And I have the newsletter uh, that's set to send to everyone that we have on the email list, uh, regardless of it, if it's uh, Africa Tours or Africa Investment. But that's my form of sharing and communicating and connecting with us about Africa Tours and Investment, uh, something which we've been doing uh, since 2004, uh, just doing the journeys, and in 2006 uh, professionally as far as tours itself. All right, so let's uh, scroll down. Uh, so the, the typical conference call email I have is this, uh, with the, the, the basic details of what we're dealing with as far as the, the schedule of conference call and also the call and information. And everything is set to where if you want to use screen sharing, then you click on the join meeting link and then um, you, you can also show your video, but this is not one of those mandatory video calls, this is just an audio call. When you scroll down the conference call, what you always see is just the big groups of us in Ghana. And, and yes, it's been the Ghana years um, for a long time. And over the last, um, since last year, we've been just looking to expand to other uh, countries. Uh, so South Africa was added for November, and then Senegal and Gambia was added for April. And, and unfortunately, those uh, trips that we had set um, for this year, those, those are not um, maturing and not working out. And I'll just go into more details about those. And you scroll down, um, my goal is always to have the links and everything for payment options and what tours we have available. So as I scroll down, you'll see a link for all of the active tours that we have on schedule. As a family, we are set to go to Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour for September 4th to the 14th. Now, after changing that date from April to July and then September, it just became a nightmare. Um, Senegal is open up, but the issue now becomes the Gambia uh, threatening us with quarantine and then they're saying that this is not going to be lifted until so on and so on. And when people give you dates, uh, especially if when they give you new dates before, it's hard to take it serious. Uh, so unfortunately, um, all the things that we need to be open up and confirmed and set is not operational for us to continue. Uh, so. Uh, everyone that's on that tour is either transferred to Senegal and Gambia April of next year or asked me to put them on a Tanzania tour and then uh, the Tanzania tour for November 20th to the 30th this year and also the other option was Ghana uh, tour December 24th to January 5th. Now Ghana is the other country that's not open so we're, it's at the end of the year so they have more than enough time to get themselves organized but I'm not going to anyone's country that's trying to put me into a two weeks quarantine and I'm only there for 10 days in the country. So those things are just, you know, we'll make sure that those things are clear and, not, and are not going to be in our way. And in Ghana, we have a little more flexibility because we can you know, work many things out here in Ghana based on our connections. Now back to the Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour. Uh, that one up there used to say South Africa, uh, November 20th to the 30th. Uh, so another country where it's just, drama. Uh, first they started sharing information talking about next year opening up and that didn't come from the Minister of Tourism. So the next thing you're asking yourself is what are they, you know, what's going on in the country. So you know you reach out to your uh, folks in the country because we have tour guides and organizers and business people in every country that we do business with and you know we you know, talk directly to find out what's going on on the ground. Uh, so that was uh, the, the, a no-go and uh, trying to come up with a, a game plan to make it where it works for us uh, challenging. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we had so many people in Tanzania and then they're just reaching back out to me talking about how nice the country is. And, and which I know Tanzania, you know, I've got it going on, just never been able to get that on the uh, schedule. But, you know, based on what South Africa did, it opened up a time frame. And then once we go there and get set up, you know, we'll just add it to the rotation. 
and things like that. So more so I'm open to talking more about our options to go into Tanzania since all the other journeys I mentioned has been rescheduled. Uh, Ghana rescheduled from May to, to join the December. Senegal and Gambia rescheduled from all of this year to next year, April. And South Africa is set for November of next year with the same itinerary. So all the people that uh, were worried about a bunch of different things, they were transferred to that tour. So that's the best thing I would recommend for any of us who are traveling, just you know, pick one of the options of another tour if one doesn't work out. Um, we're we're going to always work out scheduled dates, but just for, for us to just be traveling this long in Africa and doing such an impactful work for you know, a decade and a half to just give up because of COVID-19 drama, it's just you know, the sign of the devil trying to destroy our, you know, our movement as a people. Uh, so that strategy is all organized now, family. So the links are there for all of these uh, journeys, and we have a nice updated schedule for 2020, which is this Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour in November, and then Ghana in December. And then it's a full-fledged operation of journeys so far that we have for next year. So I mentioned Senegal and Gambia is April 2021. Then right after that is Ghana in May. And I'm looking and working out a schedule for Rwanda for July. It's you never know how these things go, so I just have to work it out, just like I worked out Tanzania. And then um, we have South Africa for November of our next year. And then the goal is still to do Ghana December also next year. But you can only go so far ahead with these schedules, and then I have to manage all of these things also. So what we're going to do is just, uh, I'm going to click on the Tanzania link, and then that's going to take us right there to our website. And the music and the slideshow is enabled, so you'll see basically pictures from us in Ghana and uh, South Africa uh, last year. And the two Ghana trips and the one South Africa journey. So those are more just updated photos. And I have another slideshow that shows the older pictures from like 2004 to uh, 2016, uh, you know, initial 12 years of just traveling to Africa. And so the, the main thing about our website, Africa for the Africans, uh, which we always talk about, is that everything is on our website. So once you go to africaforafricans.org, you can go to the main menu, or you can go to the, the front page of the website where you have the text, and then uh, it'll have a list of all the tours we have, and then also a, list, a link to the investment project, Black Star Pan-African Community. All right, so I clicked on the link, and here we are now. And we are, we have um, a few articles. We have overview, itinerary, general terms, Im improving your immune system, and visa information. So those are just our direct information that uh, I just want to go through some of it. All right, perfect. So I have the overview up. Uh, Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour, November 20th to the 30th. So we literally depart the U.S. on the, the 20th and then return back on the 30th. So for those who um, are in the, the school system energy as far as this uh, time off, this is set around uh, Thanksgiving holiday time frame. So for some people, it may work out real good to where you already have some of those time or dates off already and you can just add your vacation days and work it out. And uh, for those who are in the, the system of the education system, uh, school will be out the whole time uh, from you know, university all the way down to down to basic uh, school. Um, uh, so it is uh, set around to give us the most flexible schedule for traveling. Right? And this is the same time frame of when we went to South Africa last year, and it just worked out real good. All right, so for those who are transferring to this tour um, and you already have tickets, we'll get your tickets changed over and then transfer your your land uh, payment. Uh, the only well, the only tour that we have that's uh, less than this is uh, Senegal and the Gambia. So for those who've been transferred to that tour, um, you may have to pay an additional uh, two to four hundred dollars. Depends on what shows on your receipt. If it was if you paid thirty three hundred or if you paid thirty five hundred, but this tour is three thousand seven hundred. Includes your flights uh, from the U.S. and then anyone that's from anywhere else would have to let us know so we can work that out. And most of us are going to be flying on Delta or KLM, and um, all of the flights will leave the U.S. and all connect to Amsterdam. And so once we get to Amsterdam, we're going to be doing a classic meetup. And these things that I mentioned is more is in more detail on the actual tour itinerary. It's a full 
day-to-day -day schedule with times and all those things better than I've done you know, other itineraries in the past. And so once we're organized um, in Amsterdam, we'll fly directly on KLM to Kilimanjaro and Kilimanjaro Airport. And once we get there, it's about an hour ride uh, to Arusha. And uh, Arusha does have an airport, but there's no flights in it from, uh, you know, from KLM and anything else is just local. So we'll just work out the, uh, the one hour transport and um, have our guys can pick everyone up and then take us to the hotel. And so the sequence of that flight, uh, once we finish in Arusha, we'll get back to uh, Kilimanjaro Airport and then we'll fly directly on the same KLM flight to um, Dar es Salaam. And then once we get to Dar es Salaam, um, our movements to Zanzibar is going to be by ferry boat, um, not too far from our hotel. And then once we uh, come back to Dar es Salaam, uh, we'll fly back uh, to the airport and then we'll head uh, to Amsterdam. So it's a nice sequence. So in country, uh, we have a flight directly from Kilimanjaro to Dar es Salaam, and it's being used by KLM. So when we think about baggage situation, we won't have to deal with the craziness that we did in South Africa last year, where we flew on Delta to Johannesburg, and then we had to deal with the baggage regulations from the local carrier. So with uh, KLM, everything is set for us to have two 50-pound check-in bags and two carry-on bags. And based on your, uh, your sky miles or your frequent flyer account, you may be able to uh, get a third bag. It depends on your priority. So that is the sequence of our flight schedule and is laid out on the itinerary. And for those who are going to work out their flight situations and things like that, the um, uh, ground package is uh, 2500 Now below is just the list of the things that's included. So the typical things including all of our tours. Uh, transportation, so uh, that includes the ferry and includes um, transfers from back and forth uh, from the hotel and everything dealing with us as a tour schedule. The only thing that's never included is in your own personal travel and night uh, life, whatever is being done that time, if anything at all. Uh, daily continental breakfast and gourmet dinner is included. So the hotel provides continental breakfast and gourmet dinner includes we may arrange a buffet at the hotel or at a restaurant or may go somewhere where we just pick what we want. And that all depends on the size of the group. We did a combination of all uh, when we were in uh, South Africa uh, last year, and that worked out perfect. Right. And all of the hotels are set as a three slash four star hotel accommodation based on international standards. So we found some real good quality hotels to um, you know, be able to just move around in and be able to just be comfortable. Uh, entrance to all sites uh, and activities. Goal is to get uh, one or two people to assist with morning exercise for those who want to get up in the morning and just stretch and exercise. But it naturally, if no one is there or no one's volunteers, or uh, if we don't have someone on staff, then it's up to individuals to just stretch yourself out and get up in the morning and do a free flow exercise. Right. And um, with all of our tours, um, uh, we have a certified English speaking tour guides. Uh, so we have a nice setup of uh, the different people that will be helping us and I'm still working on just finalizing it to make it perfect. That way everything logistically connects and everything runs nice and smooth just like all the other uh, previous tours that we've done. And the other thing that's not included is a $50 group tip which we collect at the airport or in country and any kind of camera or camcorder fees or anything that's outside of what's included. And then Lunch is not included, so lunch is a great option to where for those who want to eat more traditional food and want to do things like that or just be able to pick certain things, that is one of your best options and you know, uh, to do that. All right, and as we stroll down, uh, I have this nice little Arusha National Park layout. So you'll see popular things that you're used to hearing about as time flows by over the period of time where like Serengeti and this national park and that national park. Unfortunately, uh, we're not in Arusha that long to where we drive for several hours out to the Serengeti or, f or get a flight over there or certain things. We have the national park and we have a city tour. So those are the two full days that we have for touring in Arusha. Uh, so nothing hardcore, you know, just like South Africa, we went to a nice national park. Uh, this one is a little more vibrant than the one we went to in South Africa. but. To get to some of these real parks where it's a little more, bit more live with the uh, safari, you really have to camp out and spend time in those uh, locations. And uh, this is an introduction tour. It doesn't go that far. 
because uh, we don't want to spend all of our time in Arusha because there's so much dynamic other parts of um, Tanzania to go to. All right, so I'm just give a list of things that we had uh, s uh, scheduled for Tanzania. Um, I mentioned the uh, Arusha National Park, Mount Maru, Maru volcano. That's be in a nice sort of view. That's like you know, the Kilimanjaro mountain itself, nice view. And none of us will be close enough to climb the mountain or partake in that. Tengaroo Market and Culture Center, Arusha National History Museum, and Arusha Declaration Museum. And then there's a full aspect of city tour in this, enjoying the city itself in Arusha. And Arusha is also a location where you have, that's one of the more populated areas of African Center diaspora that live in Tanzania. All right, and we scroll down to Dar es Salaam. And as far as uh, Arusha, we have it set for three nights and Dar es Salaam is set for two nights and all of these flights that we have is, is weird because all of them are like late flights. Uh, so Dar es Salaam we have one uh, day out for touring so we'll just work it as best as possible. City tour, National Museum, Caribou Arts uh, Gallery, Kariaku uh, Market and the Village Museum and then we may have uh, other things on there but this, those are like the highlights. And also Below these um, overviews is the links to the different hotels. And let me just go back up to the one in Arusha. It's the one in Arusha is CorridorSpringsHotel.com. So once you click on it, you know, you can just see the link of all the details and the accommodations. And then in Dar es Salaam, um, we have the Marriott um, Protea Hotel, uh, Dar es Salaam Courtyard. Uh, so that puts us in a real unique position to where we have access to beaches and certain you know, certain moving around for nightlife and moving around to get access to the ferry and things like that and access to the airport. So as I mentioned that literally everything was like really planned out in details and I mapped everything as far as the time frame to move around. So everyone, will, you, you'll love the day-to-day uh, the -day itinerary that we have set. And uh, our highlights, um, Zanzibar Island uh, for three nights. Uh, so we have Stone uh, Town City Tour, Old 17th Century Fort, the House of Wonders or Palace of Wonders, People Palace Museum, Farohadi uh, Garden Food Market, Changu Island, aka Prison Island, or for myself, aka African Holocaust Island, because uh, it does present the African Holocaust, and also um, in connection with that, the Arab slave trade. So you know, you're in Ghana and you. In West Africa, you hear about the transatlantic European slave trade. So now, this is on the eastern part or East Africa, where it's more dominated with Arab slave trade. And so you get to, you know, some education, information on that as we begin to just make sure that every itinerary we have is just in full flow of this many different things to give us a balanced experience in this country. And the last day, uh, what we have is uh, we have uh, swimming, beach activities, boating, and water sports, um, and uh, lodging at the uh, Kenwa Rocks um, Hotel or Beach Resort. Uh, it's uh, KenwaRocks.com. So that one puts you on this wonderful, you know, clear sand beach, aqua blue water, and everything. And uh, my goal to, is to just do some more things that I've not done in a lot of uh, videos. Um, uh, even when I look back at my Brazil video. I didn't do as much as I wanted to do on the beach, uh, but would like to just uh, showcase you know some you know some good documentation and sum it all up in all the videos that we have done. Let folks know that African content is more diverse than anywhere else on the planet. Uh, you know you have everything there in the continent, and a lot of times it's just things are not marketed and shown. So when I you know whenever I get a chance to go anywhere, that's what we're doing, and I'm just hoping that we have. Many people that just uh, as excited and want to get out there on a boat, snorkeling, parasailing, and the only thing I would say is whatever activities that you do, just be careful. Our goal is to just get one or two, uh, you know, two companies there to provide us with a list of different things that we can all do and, and organize it to where it's included based on everything else that's included, like going to a museum and things like that. Uh, the only thing about that day is just we're there on the beach. Uh, our hotel is, you know, right there anyway. And we're just enjoying those things and just you know, sharing the experience with a group of people. So definitely looking forward to uh, that one. All right, the other thing that I want to talk about, um, and since the overview is linked with how the itinerary flow, I'm going to go back on and we're going to look at the visa. So once you click back on the main link or you click on the Tanzania banner at the bottom, 
And then for those who are looking to ask the questions, you can also even type it in the chat. I'll be looking for it. But I'll be opening up in a few minutes to just entertain questions and just have dialogue on what we're doing. All right, so uh, the last article in the Tanzania link is Visa Information for Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour November 2020. All right, perfect. Uh, so the information is just, just nice, simple details on there. To all visa applicants, kindly be informed that from November 11th, 2019 onwards, visa services will no longer be issued at the Embassy of the United Republic of Tanzania in Washington, D.C. All visa applicants are required to use new electronic system found at this website, uh, which is um, e-services dot immigrations dot go dot tz forward slash visa and reference to the comes from the Tanzania Embassy website at Tanzania Embassy uh, dash us dot org and the next thing I'm going to add to this list of things is just like my famous um, departure and reminder list uh, with all of the things that you need to have together, be prepared for, um, to purchase and uh, converters and, and things like that. I'll be putting that together and then when I do another conference call, we'll go over that uh, almost for verbatim um, about a month from now and it'll be all focused on Tanzania and things like that. So that will be up um, hopefully in the next uh, week or so. Uh, so family, that is uh, the information for uh, the uh, Tanzania journey for November 20th to the 30th, which uh, is our best option for those who want to go to Africa now and are not able to go to Senegal, and Gambia, Ghana, and South Africa. Perfect. So I got it back on the home page. It shows a list of all of our tours and all of those links and everything and, and so on. So family, what I'm going to do uh, now is just to keep this thing simple. I'm going to put us back in uh, mute mode, and in mute mode, you can press star six to unmute yourself, give your name, where you're calling from, and uh, your interest in the tours that you're looking to travel on. All right, family, so we are open for questions, and I have the, the screen up with everybody's uh, name. Juma, you like, you're ready for a question now. You can just unmute yourself when you're ready. All right, you're muted, so let me even try to help you. There you go. I didn't, I didn't really have any questions. I just wanted to chime in and take a listen at uh, actually what was going on as far as the trips going anywhere in the, in the midst of this COVID situation. That was one of the main reasons why I delayed my trip. All right, cool. Juma, I heard you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I heard you continuously, and then you, you broke up. But if you're going to talk, you have to... Make sure you're focused in the mic direction. So if you want to repeat yourself one more time. Yeah. No, I said I just really wanted to chime in and listen about how the trips were going to go uh, in the midst of this so-called COVID pandemic. That was one of my main concerns as to why I delayed my trip until next year because I didn't want to have to go through a quarantine period, you know, uh, prior to leaving the country or even coming back. So I'm hoping that by the, the end of this year, um, you know, things will, you know, hopefully be fully back open. I don't know. Well, absolutely. Yeah. Other than that, I'm just listening in. I appreciate you. Let me just mute you back. Well, I appreciate you, uh, Juma. Um, those are great concerns, and um, that's why the best thing for the Ministry of Tourism to do for every single country that, you know, is just to give updates and be clear and transparent, and then whatever words they give, they follow through on. Uh, so that was the biggest disappointment about South Africa, like nothing, nothing, uh, other than gossip online. Uh, so that's why I wanted to make sure to create a flexibility of schedules for next year for those who are looking to travel and, and, and so on. But once we were able to organize Tanzania, it solved the issue of us going now and gave us some flexible options. Because if not, none of these countries open up and have uh, done what Tanzania have done, then there, everyone else is looking at each other, um, you know, because then it becomes like the blind leading the blind. Uh, so thankful for Tanzania. It has created an opportunity where we can really just connect on the African continent and experience the same roots and culture journeys 
that's similar to the ones that we have on every single itinerary. So family, I am looking for any questions from any of us. Uh, that way we can get you ready for the journey of a lifetime to Tanzania. And remember, family, you have to press star six to unmute yourself because I have everybody in the uh, mute mode. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't know how to unmute. This is Monique. I got on late. Um, I, I probably missed what you said. Right now you said Tanzania is leaving in November. Is there anything still scheduled for the Christmas New Year? Yes, uh, the Ghana tour is scheduled. So um, on our okay. website, uh, what we have. Uh, but now right, every, every country has to open up first. So um, you know, Ghana has the, the, you know, the benefit because it's so far. And then they also have to address and adjust their stupid quarantine process because that you're not quarantining me for, for you're not quarantining me for as a matter of fact I'll give you 30 minutes and you can test and check me after that you have to let me go because I'm not staying in nobody's hotel um, and being trapped so n no one is gonna be no one is gonna go for that and so every country that we go into and that's why we had to cancel the Gambia because they weren't willing to just give clarity that we can come and then you know we can you know, be checked out for 30 minutes and then they let us do what we need to do in the country so since they since these countries are not agreeing to that we're not going to go but Ghana is one of those situations where diplomatically they don't have a choice but to work it out they they pulled off one of the most incredible thing which is the 29 year of return to where they had so much energy going on in Ghana to make it like the number one traveled country uh, for, you know for the Africans in the diaspora uh, so they so hopefully they work out what they have to work out and we have our land there so we definitely have to go and do a follow up on our land and also you know put you know, give people consistent updates because it's a serious movement you know you're trying to tell our folks on the African continent that we you know we have to keep things going and we can't like lose lose momentum so I would definitely be keeping everyone posted about the uh, the Ghana tour and making sure that uh, we don't have to deal with any issues but you know all of us feel good and even when I talk to my folks in Ghana. Um, they feel good about it and they realize that their government is not going to be able to, to pull off that quarantine stuff. Because right now it's a lot of people in Tanzania that want to go to Ghana and they're like, well, we came to Tanzania and we didn't have to do any of this foolishness, so why are we going to leave Tanzania, which is you know, a nice tropical paradise, and go to Ghana? Uh, so these governments and things, they see what's going on. So um, that only thing I will say about Ghana is that that will literally give them enough time to fix it. Okay. Um, in terms of getting the visa, are, are, are there, is their embassy up and open? Like, should I just be doing that online now? Because I don't have anything, like, to send them. So, like, I should just be waiting? Like, what am I doing in that, with that uh, process? As far as Ghana, uh, I sent everybody the Ghana visa email, and then if nothing else, it's on the uh, website. And okay. then you can always send a request to get a Ghana visa email, which my, my, my okay. visa emails, they all have sample applications, and they have, like, you know, little unique information in there to make sure once you read the email, you print it out, everything okay. is covered and give you a nice little reminder and, you know, I got check off sheets and things like that. And okay. So, yeah, so whenever you're ready, um, um, Monique, I got you, you know, we'll get your, get that going for you. I'm and then ready. I'm, do I'm, I'm done with the U.S. for 2020. I just, I just need to look forward <laughs> to something. I'm ready. Wherever you go in December, I'm going. So, just get yeah. to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I have, two, I have two bookings of tickets, it's like 40 tickets, because I know how the situation is going to happen. Uh, a bunch of folks, uh, Ghana is going to open up, they're going to have things set up, and people are going to be looking for tickets, and they're like, when I went online and the tickets are $3,000, and I'm like, well, I locked out a bunch of tickets, and we had them at the regular price. So um, um, I got everything ready for us, and then next month, my goal is to just add everybody to the Delta system, and then send the emails out for everybody who's traveling to Ghana, and then you'll be able to log in and check your routes and okay. things like that, and then by the end of October, my goal is to pay Delta Airlines the balance in full for all the tickets of the people that say they're still going to Ghana in December, and everyone else, we just reroute them to May next year, or, or whatever they decide to do. I'm ready. Okay. Yes, my sister, you're ready. That is the up. Look forward to meeting you and everybody else. And the next person, same thing, is star six to meet yourself, and then name, where you're calling from, and a uh, question, and then, and so on with the next person. Well, my name is Stephanie. Um, I was actually invited to, to, to log on and, and see what it's about, because I was talking to a mentor of mine about, um, uh, like, moving to Africa and things like that, but she said she's moving, and she was like, you know what, you should just check out this link here. 
and <laughs> see what they're about. So that's why I'm on here right now. I mean, everything seems pretty interest, uh, interesting. I'm, I'm thinking of trying to um, eventually uh, do a tour or something for next year, um, which will work for my budget. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I'm hoping that um, what we have set up is, number one, is fully cleared because we have a full detail itinerary. And anyone know that have traveled with me, as, even as packed as the itinerary looked, they were like, yeah, Bomani is going to pull off to where we do everything with the exception of maybe one thing, and that's explained. Other than that, I uh, just want to make sure that uh, you know, everyone is clear and they have good information to process. And then you can see the history of what we've been doing. I've been taking people to Africa since really 2005 um, to South Africa and uh, traveling since 2004, but Africa for Africans operation since 2006. And the goal is just to be the best in the world, in the world of tourism and investment. Uh, and uh, just get up every day to, to do that and want to make sure that uh, we, know, we get our, our brothers and sisters and that's uh, represented and connected properly in the continent. So let me know if you was able to navigate to the website and if you was able to move around and find things as you need. Actually, I haven't even really went as much through like all the details in the website. Uh, she, we were talking last night and she sent it to me around, she sent it to me around 12 a.m. So um, being busy all day today, but I plan on um, going through the website and also joining the mailing list so I can get updates and things like that. Okay, perfect. And if you just want to talk directly, just like anyone else that's listening on the call that's uh, new to what we do, um, you can just um, t uh, text me information or email me information and I'll make a point to call you or you can reach out to me and we'll just go over things and make sure that you're all good and answer all your questions and uh, just you know, uh, try to, to develop that connection. Okay, got it. Thank you. All right, perfect. And um, whatever you receive should have my number and things like that on there. And if nothing else, uh, once you're on the website, you scroll to the very bottom or click on contact us on the main menu and uh, all my information is uh, logged in there. Okay, got it. All right, perfect. Uh, and also for everyone in general, um, uh, one thing that I've done on YouTube uh, over the period of time in our um, page is youtube.com forward slash Bomani2007 or you can click on it from the website or anywhere else you may see the link. Uh, is um, basically creating a playlist and loading every single last videos we shoot in that playlist. So for Ghana December uh, 2019, I have a big uh, nice playlist of all the videos from us in Amsterdam and different parts of Ghana seeing the land and so on and it ended up being like a hundred something 150 plus videos and South Africa the same thing to about a almost about a hundred videos and this and you know, so it's a lot of documentation so for anyone ever want to kind of see what we do it's one of those things where you can literally get a visual you'll see all of the people who look just like you traveling moving around us having dinner us doing certain things and that's to be transparent because um, it's just a lot of different stories about what Africa is out there. Everyone has their own different interpretation, especially the white-dominated uh, um, uh, media. Uh, so what I show you and what we do is literally just the highest level of networking, us connecting and enjoying an energy uh, with ourselves, and then trying to connect people to where we can do the ultimate thing, which is corporate economics, us connecting, putting our money together, investing in Africa, whether it's building a community, building a factory, or just doing things together. Uh, so it's, you know, it has a strong purpose more than just having the best time of your life, um, uh, you know, which I feel like our journeys in Africa will give you the best experience and, you know, and those who have traveled can literally just, you know, you know compare it. And as a matter of fact, if anyone wants to just talk about their experience, they can just sh share their experience because I'm trying to do more of these calls to where people hear more about other people's experience. And so my goal is also when we go in the countries to do a lot more interviews and things with the people that travel with us. Because, uh, you know, a lot of times we want to hear in your own words, how was your experience and what was the best of your experience and or what could be done better to make the experience even on a higher level. But anyway, family, uh, the line is still open, star six to unmute yourself and um, uh, guard with your name. We're calling from your question. And while we're still waiting for someone to ask a question, I have us on the uh, YouTube page for screen sharing. 
So the fourth class, um, somehow it never shows that link, but um, uh, even if you're on YouTube and you type in Bomani Time and you actually click on a channel link, uh, this is what it brings you to where you see uh, uploads, which is 2,000 videos loaded in uploads. Even when I play for my TV and I click on one of the videos, it will show like uh, video number 10 of 2,000 and something. Uh, but it's a combination of everything I can imagine putting together. Um, most of it is Ghana, at least 75% of it. But you know, you also have other countries that I've been to recently, um, Brazil and Ethiopia in 07, uh, South Africa in uh, uh, 2019, uh, and then a lot of uh, presentations, interviews, um, all of the audio conference calls are edited to the best of what we can do to make sure it flows nice and it's one of the only audio base we have. Everything else we have is straight video so you can see our face and you can see who we're dealing with. And then I also have some, you know, some journey, some videos that's outside of our tourism investment and uh, things dealing with, you know, black consciousness or relationship and anything that I come up with as a topic or uh, things like that, I'm only doing it for one purpose. And that one purpose is to connect with us, to build the African continent as the greatest entity on the planet and reform back to our greatness as a people. Uh, so. It may be psychological, it may be marketing, it may be promotions, it may be information, it may be many different things, but that's the end goal. Traveling across the different African uh, countries and different black countries in the world, that's one of our issues we have. We're not as industrialized as we should be and not as you know, invested in our own as we should be because most of our trade partners are going to be England, France, Germany, Spain, and you know, anyone ever want to look it up, you look it up and you'll see those things and, and it can, some people may say naturally it's going to be that way because all of these countries were colonized and that's the colonial system you know literally after I've, I've dominated and take over your country it's to literally just provide you service and support and help and let you say hey you can't run and manage your country by yourself let us come in and do certain business with you let us do this and that let's let's try to work together let's make Africa for everyone and that's why our company is called Africa for the Africans because I honestly don't don't agree with any of those things uh, because it just put us in the mode of just being dominated by other people We're, it's like you know it's like so old-fashioned now where you know so it's like this is time for us to do what we need to do so that's one of my aspects of organizing us and I'm sure other people have other ways but you know I always encourage the rest of us to let's try to you know even if those of us don't want to do anything in Africa or you know at least stay here to say hey when people when those of us have things established let's do some import export let's do some business development some skills transfer let's do some trades let's do a bunch of different things and let's find other black countries around the world and do business with them and create a world of this black business enterprise. And so that's why most of the itinerary I have is almost 100% black itinerary. I'm unfortunately limited to the hotels outside of Ghana. Uh, so it may end up being, you know, some of these other corporate folks own that. And the same thing with airlines. Uh, so that's, those are the two drawbacks. Uh, but even beyond that, I'm sure we'll get to the point where we can enterprise at a higher level where we, are, we even have our own straight up organized African airline run by Ethiopian Airlines as an enterprise where it covers more flexibility of us moving around Africa and put more into the continent as far as training its own, own pilots, uh, flight crew, technicians and so on. So it all starts from those of us who are on the outside looking in uh, to say, hey, you know what? This is, you know, just like our people are so committed to America, you know, like, this is my continent, you know, this is my birthright. So anyway, our family, let me uh, go back to our questions. Um, so next person, um, line is open. All right, everything is nice and quiet. I'm going to leave things open for questions. That way I don't just bore you with a long, detailed information of reading information from the website. So family, for those who are going, please just make sure you read the day-to-day -day itinerary and get everything that you need to get in place and we are going to Tanzania. My goal is to also work on a new book and or at least um, a yeah, new book just like I did for South Africa. Uh, not as big as a Ghana book until I get more you know, documentation but something nice that to have our schedule and everything in it so no, so we're not giving you a piece of paper, we're giving you a nice little book that you can you know, look back on and say hey, 
I was, you know, I was connected to an organizer journey that put things together, you know, organize and have a tour T-shirt, a bag, pens, and things like that. Nice sort of memory uh, stuff to, you know, just make your journey profound. So family, the line is open, and uh, this is an Africa tour conference call, but tonight we're talking about Tanzania is open for business. Ghana, the Gambia, and South Africa are still closed for tourism travel. And naturally, if you're going to go to Senegal, might as well go to the Gambia. Yeah. And especially when you do one of these journeys, if you're there to go by yourself, that's uh, fine. Uh, so... As I think about the Gambia, uh, the three days in the Gambia is a, on a nice ocean bay resort. But now we are having three days in Zanzibar Island on a nice, wonderful Kenwa Rocks Beach Resort. So family, looking to connect you uh, beyond the roots and culture, but also looking to connect you to a world of paradise. So I feel this Tanzania journey as all of those things. Uh, the only thing that we don't have set up is this like investment conference, which I'm sure if we keep on going there, uh, we can build that in the next path over. Uh, and the future of this uh, country, the, as far as what we do, is based on this first initial journey. So everything is being evaluated from now until we go and come back and so on. Right. And this will be my epic 10 African country I've traveled to uh, from 2004 to now, on a consistent traveling nonstop every year with the exception of 2010. All right, I'm looking down the list. Uh, lots of folks, lots of folks here. Uh, family, star six, don't meet yourself for questions. And if you don't have any questions and you want to go, remember all the details on our website for both the December Ghana tour and the November Tanzania tour. And those are the only tours that we're doing for this year based on the adjustment of this crazy COVID-19 drama. Coming back from Ghana, we've been on standstill and adjustment mode, basically. Um, so this is the best thing that we have worked out to continue things. And for anyone who just needs to talk about this, you can just always call me personally, and we can just go through and talk about it. Uh, but the people that I have there, they're the ones that cleared everything that we don't need all this other stuff. You know, I have people from that travel in the past on tours, and also part of our community that are waiting for Ghana to open up so they can get to Ghana so they can rent the house out that they're going to stay in and be on micromanagement mode to check the site and follow up with our staff and crew there in Ghana. And so family, I'll keep the line open for another few minutes and um, if no one has any questions, I'll just look at that as everything is clear and I'll work on the editing of this conference call and then just upload it to the YouTube page and get it out to everyone else who couldn't make the call. So try to just faithfully do that, but uh, always looking to have more people on the live calls, the live questions, that way the playback of the call could sound more interactive than, than myself just talking. And another thing too, uh, when I'm waiting for questions, is uh, we have a nice little group page on, on Facebook. I'm one of the people that have a ridiculous amount of group pages and information on Facebook. Uh, so this is... This uh, Tanzania Roots Tour November um, link on Facebook. I'm just trying to get it to show the proper link. All right. All right, there we go. So it's uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Tanzania Roots Tours. Uh, so that, and that link is also in the uh, newsletter that I sent to everyone. And that newsletter, it's one of those things where you have to just take your time and I have all the details packed in there because this is one of those ventures. Anything that I do has a lot of details to it. It's um, because the goal is to make sure things are clear up front. That way you don't have a whole lot of people calling or texting or communicating with you with information that, you know, I want to get to the real questions is my point and the real conversations and dialogue. Uh, so questions about dates and prices and what we're doing and this and that, all those things are always just laid out to the highest level. And uh, and set enough to where once you read to it, you know, generate some questions and let's talk. Uh, but for anyone who wants to add themselves to this page, just uh, click on you know, just add yourself to the group once you get to this page. And my goal is just to keep on posting information and updates for you know for what we're doing and always 
is going to be conference calls, information being sent ahead of time, and then also the recording of the conference calls, and then pictures and videos of that country once we get back from the country itself. Uh, so this uh, group page is what I originally organized, and that was when we were doing um, actually Tanzania and Ethiopia, and then also Ethiopia separate. Uh, both of those journeys didn't work out. It's what it is. Uh, many things don't work out when you plan these things, so you just have to get back and plan it a little more organized. So this set up to replace South Africa put us in a good situation because that November journey that I've been taking people to uh, Africa in November, it has always been one of the more bigger journeys as far as people traveling November and December get good outcome. It's just uh, paradise. Um, every time I look at the different pictures of the beaches and everything, I think I'm somewhere in like Negril, Jamaica, or Puta Cana, uh, Dominican Republic, or you know, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Brazil. Three of the most incredible beach atmosphere in the entire world. And you know, that's literally what we want to show people in Africa, about Africa, that you know, we, have, we have it all on this continent. You know, all right, and this is my new modified, arranged, and organized and set up Tanzania uh, flyer. I have all the wonderful details in here. So this is what I've been sharing, not only on Facebook, but also on Instagram and also on the WhatsApp, uh, posting it as a status and also sharing it. All right, so let me check the chat to see if we have any questions. Uh, no questions in the chat. All right, family, um, it is a little bit after 8. I uh, thank everyone for chiming and connecting in as we give you the the most important update, um, uh, which is that we have one country we know that's 100% clear for us to connect to. So that's one thing that we know for sure. I'm consistently going to be getting feedback from all of our folks there in Tanzania the whole time. That way uh, we're clear and we're prepared. And definitely before we even leave, our goal is to reiterate the same thing to our folks there. Is everything good? Um, we're, are, are we still set for no quarantine and this and that? Has anything changed in the country? Uh, so none of us can predict anything that will happen. But the only thing I can tell you that we're going to always is keep information flowing. And that's why I have all of us on the different WhatsApp group page. Anyone that's traveling with me and you're not on WhatsApp, all you have to do is send me a message and I'll just uh, or create your WhatsApp and then we just uh, add you on there. It's the most important setup that I have. Uh, that way anyone that's looking to travel with us if I'm in Tanzania and you're looking to travel with us to Senegal or Gambia and wherever else, I'm not going to be in America naturally. Uh, but if you send me a message on WhatsApp, I can connect with you. But if you send me a regular text message because you think I'm in the U.S., uh, I won't be able to respond to, to that until the network kicks back in when I get back. So the WhatsApp communication is for this a consistent 24 hours communication, regardless of wherever I'm at in the world, uh, to keep up with everyone that's either in our community or on a, one of our tours, or even have an interest. Uh, that way, questions can always be answered and information can always be clear. So, family, uh, that is the deal, and I'm excited about this one. Looking forward to it, and uh, just uh, looking forward to um, maybe about two months before we leave, um, or a few weeks before we leave, we'll do some direct video calls for members of that group only on uh, Zoom and then so the only so you'll get the link via email and also on WhatsApp in the group and we can just introduce each other and build an energy and kind of work it out from there on and then everyone is in the same WhatsApp group so when we go into Amsterdam we're saying hey we're at this gate we're here and if someone something happened with someone and say hey I missed my flight or something then I'll be able to see it and we'll be able to do what we need to do work out Whatever, whatever we have to work out to receive you a day late in the country or whatever it is but everything is being set up to where we have this good communication and we can keep updates and information flowing and as we just look to this make sure that um, you know we have an organized professional energy in Africa uh, that people can say uh, you know, hey, you know, I want to connect to this journey because it's going to connect me to Africa and I'll be able to do what I need to do so I'm proud to say that we have a lot of people that have never been anywhere before and a lot of people have never been to Africa before that have connected with us and from there on they have, they have just felt the level of confidence to say hey, I'm going to go here and there. Uh, and the best case in point is all the people that have traveled with me in the past and they're in Tanzania now because they wanted to just experience other parts of Africa for themselves which is definitely the, the gold. So family, um, 
please share any of the newsletters or any of the information that we have up for this uh, tour uh, so we can get a nice, solid group of 20 to 30 of us and just uh, start building that foundation in Tanzania. I feel real good about this as being uh, one of two countries, that and Ghana, where we can really build an energy for repatriation, which is the passion of what we're building. All right, family, I uh, appreciate everyone. Everyone enjoy the rest of the Sunday night. Uh, once again, uh, this is Bomani Tamba, uh, your tour leader and tour organizer, taking you on the journey of a lifetime, and we'll keep in touch, and I'll look out for any texts or email or any messages, and we'll keep in touch. So, family, I'm going to put everyone in the unmute mode, um, and then uh, so everyone can hear each other, and, um, and everyone just have a good night. All right, family, unmuted, so good night, everyone. Okay, good evening, everyone. Bye. All right, family, good night, good night.